Yeah. Oh, 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 that is this. Oh. Yeah. Forgot about that. That is a little. Uh, Literally three days. A little mini regional monthly hosted by the fine people who host uh, Spectrum Smash over in New Jersey. Okay, I have no idea who's what, what. We got Cloud versus Cloud. And what is this? Utopian Ralphie. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Utopian right. Ray versus Ralphie. I want to say Ray is the the first player Cloud. Uh, I really don't know either of these guys by their like in-game tags, so I couldn't tell. But here we go. Apparently, Utopian Ray yeah, is uh, uh, player one on the red one. I'm I'm guessing. I, I'm guessing too because I, it's his Advent Children costume. I feel like I've never seen. I have never oh, yeah, seen. Ralphie uh, always plays Advent. Yeah, You're right. yeah Ralphie true, has actually. never played X Soldier. Ooh. He's gonna sink down with the up airs. What Cloud does best. Now you notice that Ralph, uh, sorry, Ray is not playing Rosalina this time around because it's he does not like the matchup. He does uh, not like playing against Cloud. Most Rosalina players do not like the matchup. It is considered one of, if not Rosalina's worst matchup. Cloud Sword, pretty much every hit just obliterates the Luma, and it's just so easy as that down air is going to take the stock off the missed tech from Ralphie. So easy to just juggle, you know, Rosa around the floaty character, kill her super early as well with Limit, you know. It's just... It ain't a good one. You know, it ain't too fun. And Utopian Ray apparently definitely has enough faith in his cloud to go up against a cloud as proficient as Ralphie. But right now, it ain't looking it ain't looking too bad, but it ain't looking too pretty either. There's about 100% differential between these players as Utopian Ray gets his limit while Ralphie still does not have his. That air dodge was the spookiest thing I've ever seen. That was a good blade beam forcing Ray to co consume his limit. Use his climb magic to get back onto the stage. Now he's taking out 134%. They're both charging for the limit. But that time, you notice that Ray opted to play a a little bit more aggressive because Ralphie's limit was charged a little bit further. And then he paid for the price for it. So sent flying by that back air. Game number one going to Ralphie. Mm. Hawk Ralphie. As our uh, as our good friend uh, Aretha Franklin would say, God rest her soul, uh, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Why only a little bit? Just a little bit of uh, respect. Okay. I feel it. That's what the backup singers say, you know. I'm always that was shocked. completely not relevant to anything that is. <laughs> I was like, I was at, gonna say. At all. I don't know why I was thinking about that. I'm not. I was just <laughs> nodding, going, uh huh. No, I'm always curious whenever the double clouds don't like start off the match by charging limit. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Woo. Yo, that looks uh, like they uh, looks like they hurt you, homie. Thank God. Look at that. That's dead ass. All I wanted. Like I. I'm good. I don't, I don't yeah. care who wins this now. It's definitely the most uh, optimal thing, like when both clouds charge mm -hmm. their limit like that, because then they both get to like whip out either of their four final smashes whenever yeah. they want, and they're both on that playing field, so it's not like one character has all of their final smashes and the other one has none. Oh, Ray is but, dead. Uh, yeah, he is. Good nair. Now, the, the second his double jump got in, it but, uh, was just like, that was going to be a struggle bus to get back to stage. Some people just want to play the game immediately. Are you real? I mean... He had, he had his limit and he ran down there anyway. I've seen Ray go off stage and nair Ralphie twice now. Yeah, this and they is both a, were, the second one resulted in a kill if he didn't have his limit. Yeah, you told me Ray may be a Rosa player, but this cloud is a uh, pretty aggressive. Yeah, not gonna lie, pretty ballsy as well to be running off stage doing nairs like oh that. Oh my forward, god! Forward smash catch, gonna Ugh. do it against Ralphie right there, taking the stock, evening it out. Talk to him. Talk to him, sir. But yeah, man, I mean like. He ran off stage and did nares to try and gimp him off of what had to be a missed tech while the clouds had limit. Mm -hmm. Who does that? Uh, Ray. Who, what, Ray. I mean, the apparently. thing is, he's down his stock, so he's just like, I just need to make a power play. I just got, I got to show my dominance here. <laughs> that was a good call from Ralphie. Recognized that the platform was going to be right there. That could be an option for Ray to jump on the platform. But great power shield. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Oh, on that ledge, he's still going to hold on this limit for as long as he can because he needs it. This is the only advantage he's got going against Ralphie. Doesn't matter what the percents are. If you get him off stage without his double jump, that's why he fast fell that neutral as fast as possible. It is cloud strife, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't need, sometimes it may not even matter so much the uh, skill disparity when this character gets his limit when he gets you in those juggles. He brings back games from the depths of hell. You cannot count Utopian Ray out of this uh, out of this uh, match, out of this set, out of anything. Oh, oh! Just like that! <laughs> He's gonna wait for him to Get win aggressive. the limit. Cl uh, not climb hazard, excuse me. The limit plate beam and just finishing touch in his face. Just as I say that, the, what did I tell you, Austin? The biggest oh call God. out. The biggest call out. It was like you're gonna charge <laughs> at me because it, it's it's actually optimal for Alfie to like you know throw out the blade beam, apply that shield pressure, dash in and try to go for a grab or something. And Ralph, Ray was like, "Get off me! What the heck?" That. Hey, hey, you can call it a commentator's curse. 
You can you can call it stupidity. You can call it cloud strife, whatever you want. When this when you're up against a cloud, it doesn't matter how big your lead is. Never start sleeping. Never do anything. Never start sleeping. Don't, and here we go. We got the limit coming out. Don't. This character brings back games from the depths of hell, ladies and gentlemen. As you saw with Utopian Ray right there, and all of a sudden, uh, this set is evened out. This match is evened out, and Utopian Ray is all of a sudden beyond back in this. You know, just, they're both fishing for these neutral layers. This it's is, it's such a good combo. Or... This is hype. I mean, they're oh. both at that prime percent where that neutral layer will connect into a cross slash, you know? That's, that's, that's probably why they're both doing it. Oh, nice one. coverage. Ooh, good, good air dodge. dodge. Eh, Jinx, you owe me a soda. No, darn it. I don't like soda. Don't buy me one. Oh, lit. Or pop. However you... Oh, they're... Pleb I had people. some Zeppelins earlier, but I gave him all the marks. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Off of that jump. Off that jump. Bye. Bye. Ralphie, Utopian Ray. Is Ray about to beat? Up a game on the Cloud Legend himself. He's about to beat Ralphie in the Ditto? That's. That's kind of far fetched, <laughs> if I do say so myself. <laughs> that, is still, that is definitely a little far fetched. I mean, like, not to sleep on Utopian Ray. Not to sleep. He's. No, his cloud's his good. Cloud he's a got lot. His, his cloud is good, but we are talking about Ralphie here, you know? And then Ralphie's actually talked about how he's trying in this tournament. Ooh, so that's a first. Yeah, it's it's been a while. Okay, we got that limit break. I mean, he's still chilling at that high, very high percent. Yeah, again, I, I feel like Ralphie's been on point with these blade beams because he recognizes that Ray's going to immediately go for a double jump just to eat his limit. Very good call out. Very safe option to go for it too. Like he's super safe to just throw out a projectile. He's only got 18% tagged on as well. He can easily get this dash attack or back air. Honestly, at this point, just go for like a safe back air. Yeah, this is when you can definitely start fishing for back air when you're at this high of a percent against a, uh, I guess another cloud or pretty much anyone else. But that up air is going to trade with the dare. Good trade Explode. for Ralphie. Oh, fantastic trade for Ralphie. Are you kidding? I mean, one lived, one died. I mean, evening out the percents pretty much. There's only 33%. I can easily one down tilt. Could build something big. And Fish. here we go. Yeah, he's got the limit too, so allows some more combos to connect more than usual. Nice! Catch with that up tilt, a little greedy with that forward smash. You want to get that call out again. That up tilt was actually kind of crazy because, like, Ralphie had his dare out and everything, and, like, yeah. Ray just kind of. Outspaced dare! Yeah, he kind of just positioned himself just right to the point where, like, hey, positioned and timed it just right to the point where, like, up tilt just kind of went around it a little bit, and not many moves can you really say go around Cloud's downer. That neutral scared me so much. You can't really so say much. that. You, like, jumped out of your seat. I was scared! Oh, my He's God! Living. He's cross living. cross slash to make his way back onto the stage. Actually, like, cross slash there as an aggressive option to make his way back. A lot of people use it just to try and get the kill, but, like, sometimes people... They don't use it for, like, all its versatility. But Ralphie, a little too Ooh. good for that at this stage in the game. Ray was completely vulnerable to that neutral at the edge. Could have easily died. That back air ex being extended by the balloon. He's just trying to get away from the back airs. He's still alive. Ooh, Ralphie. Oh, no! Oh. He should have just gone for it. Mm. Just go for that second swing. That You're dead anyways. is very sad. That's a, that's not how I wanted that set to end. We definitely don't have, like, sad, mu uh, sad music on the soundboard, right? No. No? All right. Was he He must have lost his double jump somewhere. Can I see that replay one more time, Doug? I f where did he? Yeah. What? No. Yeah, he back aired. Didn't lose his Where's double, his double jump, jump there. So he had his double jump. Did uh, He thought he was going to grab the ledge? Yeah. He actually just thought he was going to grab the ledge. He either thought he was going to grab the ledge or the much less likely scenario. He got his double jump out there for like a split second, like yeah. a frame or something. And just it ate it out. But that didn't look like that. that's what happened. The so. second he initiated the climb hazard, I thought he was going to go for the second swing. But then like obviously he recognized that the second swing wouldn't have worked because his like he was too far away for the second swing to like connect. So he's like, okay, I'm gonna try to go for the ledge instead. That's kind of like, I don't know. That was just, 